Greetings YouTube, I recently stumbled upon a picture of Jason Momoa aka Aquaman and apparently he has gotten body shamed for this picture and I thought to illuminate the ignorance of those who say he looks out of shape. So we have two pictures before us at the moment. We have one to the left where he looks great. We have the one to the right where he looks good but not as great. And now the first thing we all have to keep in mind when we talk about anything physique or fitness or aesthetic related or bodybuilding related is that it's highly visual. It is a lot of different factors that creates a picture. If you want to see what someone looks like, it's better to watch a video or to meet them face to face. A picture can be completely misleading. So for example, this picture we see before us, these two pictures, they could have been taken the same day. It could have been the morning to the left and then the late afternoon to the right. In extreme cases, of course, it could have been a week apart or it could have been a month apart too. But my point being is if we look upon the picture to the left, he is in the gym, he has a good pump, he takes the picture or his photographer takes the picture from a good angle, he tenses his abs. Now the picture to the right, he might have drunken a lot of water, he might have eaten a lot, so his belly is protruding a bit. He is unaware of that a picture is being taken, so he doesn't flex or anything. It's from a bad angle and it's bad lighting. So if you compare all of these different factors, it becomes quite natural that people's bodies look different from time to time. It doesn't mean he is any less well trained in the picture to the right. On the contrary, he might as well be more well trained on the picture to the right. Now I don't think that's the case, but it could have been the case. Perhaps he is actually stronger on the picture to the right. Perhaps he has better cardio. Perhaps he has improved his martial arts game. I'm just making up some examples here, but that's to prove a point and that is just a picture doesn't really tell all too much. Now, of course, if you want to look great on pictures, it's required of you to have a good base to be able to build from. So if we're talking about sculptures, you need good raw materials to carve out something from. And if you want a picture where you look great, where you look aesthetic, you need to have a, an aesthetic physique. But you can enhance it quite a bit just by using good angles, good lighting, good pump and not eating so much beforehand. So to take an example of myself, I took this picture the other day and I could have done something similar if I had taken a picture four or five hours later where I had eaten and someone took a picture of me in bad light from a bad angle and with me not posing and flexing. I would have looked perhaps like I didn't even lift. So that is something to keep in mind and also if we're talking about before and after pictures you can do the same thing here. You can have a an after picture where you look great, absolutely great, but it doesn't really tell the whole truth because it might be mostly angles and lighting. So I just wanted to have that said and also to aware everyone of the fact that don't judge a picture judge videos, judge if you meet someone face to face, that is how they look and also be mindful that no one goes around being ultra shredded with abs all the time. You look different depending upon when and where the picture is taken. So if you see some model, that's how he looks at a few minutes during a day basically where he tries his absolute best to look as great as possible. Same thing for my old modeling pictures. So yes, I hope that was enlightening for you all and I wish you all a high testosterone day ahead. XOXO, boom.